Now let's say you want to calculate your weight on so many different planets. So as we all know that based on the surface gravity, the weight of an object is different from planet to planet. So how do you do that? We would probably probably gonna uh, multiply the surface gravity with the mass and we'll get the weight of an object on a planet. So let's try this out, okay? So for this example, uh, I'm gonna use one chart here which is which I found online so this will give me the mass and the surface gravity of a planet so no big deal we are not going to be too mathematical in this uh, example so let's get back to our ID and create one earth class okay So in this class, what we are going to do is that we are going to create one field with type double is going to be mass. And again, another field we are going to declare, which is going to be surface gravity or just gravity. So now let's create a constructor. With both those fields sorry there was a typo so let's define our weight function or method which would going to return the weight of an object based on the mass and gravity okay so now let's uh, create an executable file which is going to be the main file main class and here let's define main function main method and here let's create an instance of earth class and provide two parameters mass is going to let's say for example the mass of of an object is 10 and the surface gravity on earth according to this um uh chart is 1.0 so we are gonna use that so it's going to be 1.0 so now let's uh, execute the weight of an object on earth so weight on earth is class earth dot weight so the output is pretty obvious okay which is going to be 10 okay so now what if i want to calculate the weight of of, of this object on mars so let's create another class called mars so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just copy and paste the code we have written on earth class so let's do this here so it's going to be MERS let's go back to the main function you're gonna copy this here I paste it here it's going to be MERS it's going to be MERS it's going to be Mars okay so let's get back to our chart and find out the surface gravity which is 0 0.38 so let's get back to ID let's do it here 0 0.38 okay so now let's give one space here so let's copy this paste it one more time and print out the weight on Mars. Okay, what do we get? So we get the weight of a uh, 10 kilo or 10 unit object on Earth is 10, and on Mars is 3.8. So how about on another planet? For example, let's create another class. Let's create 
Neptune so we want to calculate the weight of the same object on Neptune so let's create one class and we're gonna copy the same code from our earth class I'm going to paste it here okay so so let's get back to our executable class main class and here let's copy this and paste this one more time and do it here neptune copy paste neptune Neptune so let's get back to our chart again and find the surface gravity for Neptune which is going to be 1.12 so let's get back here and provide 1.12 so let's put one space here copy this one here and here is going to be Neptune and here it's going to be Neptune as well so now let's execute this class and check what we get okay so now the weight of a uh, 10 unit object on earth is 10 on Mars is 3.8 and on Neptune is 11.200 whatever okay so now what's the problem in this code the problem here is that the client the client needs to know a lot of information in order to execute these functionalities okay for example this um, gravity the client needs to know the gravity okay and there is too much information which are being exposed on the client side okay so can we make it better can we make it better yes there is one way so in order to um, um, uh, exposing the unnecessary information to the client we can create an abstract class okay so let's uh, hide out some of the unnecessary information which basically the client does not need to know okay so let's create one planet abstract class here so let's create planet which is going to be abstract and to click finish so let's declare one abstract method here which is going to be weight and declare the mass variable here and also create the constructor and also the getter function or the getter method removing the setter one okay as we have defined the constructor we don't need the setter one okay okay so now instead of implementing this way we are gonna extend the planet abstract class okay so earth is going to extract the planet abstract class and then I am going to remove both of these variables okay and I am gonna remove the constructor here as it will override it from planet this earth constructor will override the variable mass from the planet not the constructor itself obviously and here on the weight what we what we do is that we are instead of uh, typing out the mass ourselves we are taking it from the parent class or, or the planet class so what about the gravity okay so we can actually define one private uh, final double gravity 
is 1.0 so it should be private let's say private final static double okay um, it's making it constant okay. so let's put it here okay so it's basically overriding the weight uh, abstract function abstract method from the planet class okay so let's do the same thing for mars and neptune so we are going to do the same thing here so let's format a little bit just going to stands planet so the gravity is going to be 0 0.38 and it's going to be Mars and this way and also let's do the same thing for planet Neptune okay so let's stands planet and it's going to be Neptune and it's going to be 1.12 so okay now let's get back to our execution file which is the main class and instead of this way this way of doing things let's clean this up and create declare planet planet or we can call it a standard planet based on what we are going to calculate the weight on other planets I mean this is the standard planet okay we are talking about a standard planet so new earth creating instance of earth and we are gonna provide the mass okay which is going to be 10 okay so now based on this mass I want to calculate the weight of this object on other planets like Mars and Neptune in our case okay so let's dive in with Mars is equal to Earth sorry is equal to new Mars and we are gonna provide earth dot get mass so the standard value so do it again for Neptune okay Neptune so let's write it down Neptune okay so now let's execute it first so we are getting the same output okay so for a 10 unit object on earth the weight varies on different planets based on the surface gravity so now what happens is that actually we are not expo exposing too many too much information on the client side client actually does not need to know the gravity in each planet because this has been the the value of gravity has been delegated to each individual class okay for Mars it has its own gravity value for Neptune it has for Neptune it has its own gravity value for Earth it has its own gravity value so abstraction has been done okay so we are basically hiding the unnecessary data from the client end client doesn't need to know the gravity of each of the planets what it needs to know is needs to know the value of the standard standard um, mass in our case so that based on that it can calculate the weight of an object on other planets so this is how abstraction actually uh, hide out the unnecessary information from the client end okay so 
this is how abstraction is uh, organized in object oriented programming so now the question may arise what's the difference between them encapsulation and abstraction because both are actually dealing with some sort of data hiding okay here is uh, the main concern is that uh, in case of um, encapsulation we are actually not hiding that not actually not only hiding the data from from uh, from being exposed too much instead we are actually trying to provide extra security so that the data we are hiding cannot be manipulated uh, any further okay we are just restricting the scope of the the data being manipulated in encapsulation and we are actually creating an unit of data in a single unit organizing data in a single unit by hiding its uh, uh, information in a way that those data could be manipulated for example setter method can be used public uh, information can be manipulated or reset in some other way it can be abused by some uh, maybe in software development environment in a, uh, a large scale software where it's very hard to track down all the information all the variables by one single developer so it's possible that public information public variables can be reused in seven different places and which can have impact on your overall system okay so that's the that's the reason why encapsulation works and uh, encapsulation is um, uh, organized and to provide encapsulation we have the um, modifiers like private, public, default, protected, so on and so forth. And what about the abstraction then? Abstraction actually hiding out the unnecessary information from the client. As I said, that this client does not need to know the, uh, uh, in, in our example, this um, executable class or the client class does not need to know the uh, gravity of each planet it doesn't really make sense to it okay what it needs to know is just probably the mass of the stand or, or on planet earth or the standard planet based on what we can we are going to compare the weight on other different planets so that's basically ensure abstraction ensures this one this thing okay so that's the basic difference between encapsulation and abstraction so thank you so much for watching we'll be talking more about all those object oriented design and some design patterns maybe some solid principles in the future so see you next time peace out